We took a quadratic. We have a quadratic. And the coefficients, the a, b, c of this quadratic, we can see are 1, k, and minus 5. And the results that we use for these questions are that the sum of the roots is always given by minus b over a, minus k over 1. And the product of the roots of beta equals c over a, minus 5 over 1. And those are the two results that we will use to deal with the rest of the question. Part A asks us alpha squared plus beta squared. Very common question in these sorts of things. And what we do is we immediately match it to alpha plus beta squared, which almost works. If we multiply out this bracket, we get the alpha squared, we get the beta squared, but we get a 2 alpha beta that we don't want. So we simply take it off. Once we do that, these two things are an identity, they are the same, and we can slot our values in. So we have minus k squared here, minus 2 lots of minus 5, and if we sort that out, k squared plus 10. And part 2, alpha squared beta squared, slightly easier than part 1 this, is alpha beta squared and that will give me minus 5 squared 25. Part A. OK. Let me just shrink that down a little bit, give myself a little bit of room, and let's look at part B. Possible values of k. We're told then that this is the case, which just means that we need to substitute in and solve. 5 lots of and k squared plus 10 is what we came up with for that. And 7 lots of 25 was that. And our answer, plus or minus 5. And finally, part C. To create a new equation without calculating the roots, what we do is we work backwards. We find the sum of the roots, as we did here, product of the roots, and then we put them back into a quadratic equation. So if we have roots 1 over l squared 1 over b squared, so we have the sum of these new roots, and that would be if we make this a single fraction, so the sum of the roots is going to be k squared plus 10. k, we're told, is the positive, the positive value, so that is 25 plus 10, 35. And alpha squared beta squared, we know to be 25. And the product of the roots. 1 over alpha squared multiplied by 1 over beta squared is 1 over alpha squared beta squared, which will be 1 over 25. And so the equation that we're after, let's just slot these results in, is x squared. We use a as 1 and minus the sum of the roots. plus the product of the roots equal to 0, multiply through by 25 to give us integer coefficients. And that is our equation done.